To create a Hangman game in C++, we need three main concepts that are going to help us apply it and create a Hangman game in C++. And those three main concepts are STL vectors, for loops, and if-else decision statements. These, these three concepts that, that are going to be applied today in this, in this code breakdown is what's going to help us create a Hangman game in C++. But before we get into the code breakdown, I want to welcome you guys to the C++ Better Explained YouTube channel. My name is Cycle Bora and I'm the founder and proprietor of this website, cppbetterexplained.com. And if you're interested in actually learning C++ from an experienced mentor, uh, I would invite you guys to click, to click on the link down below and sign up for my 30 minute uh, free consultation call where you'll have a phone call with me where I can show you guys how you guys can learn the C++ programming language. So let's get into the code breakdown of implementing Hangman in C++ inside Visual Studio. So here we are inside Visual Studio for our Hangman implement implementation in C++. So as usual, we always begin with the include files that we've got here. So we've got include iostream string vector. So that's a new one that we that we haven't seen before. So so this is include. So this is so this allows us to use vectors to to allow us to choose what words what what words going to be what's going to be used in the game. We've got include algorithm, uh, c time and c type, and we've also got using namespace std. And so here we are in the main part of the game. So we have we have a variable here called max wrong. And that variable is going to be consistent the entire time since we have the const keyword uh, in front. So the maximum amount of incorrect guesses which 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 are allowed is is eight. And what, so we've, what we've got here on line thirty is that we've declared a vector. So this vector is going to contain uh, the possible words to guess in the game. So one of these th one of these three words in is going to be selected that. One of the yeah, so one of these three words is going to be selected uh, for the user to guess in the game. It could be any one of them. So we've got so we'll, so this so in lines thirty eight to forty, we're going to be randomizing the word what words going to be selected uh, to be used in the game. And we've also got the set the setup in the game. So we've so we've got a variable here called int wrong just to, to 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 keep track of the number of incorrect guesses. Uh, we're also we, we're going to be using a we're going to be using a string in lines forty three and forty four to, to to keep track of the words guessed so far and the, and the letters guessed already using the variable names so far and used in lines forty three and forty four and then we have the main screen uh, so this so this is just the main message here of you know welcome to the hangman game and good luck just for the user. And then we have our main loop. So this is our, our while loop that's going to keep that's going to keep the game running and running until the user has successfully uh, guessed the guessed the name guessed the word correctly, or they've had too many incorrect guesses, and the game is going to be in, the game is going to end. So we're using a we're using a C in uh, input here on line sixty seven here for the user to input their guess. Uh, we're gonna make we're gonna make the, we're gonna make using line number sixty nine. We're gonna make the uppercase secret word in uppercase, and then in we're gonna be using another while loop here in line seventy one here to check whether we have already had our guess and to actually en enter in our guess. And then in lines number eighty five, uh, we're gonna be using a decision statement here to see whether. Whether the whether the, the letter we have input is incorrect, whether the, the letter we've input is in is correct or whether it's not correct, and then we're going to then we've also got another decision statement here to check whether we've inputted in the max number of incorrect guesses. So if it, if we've inputted in uh, too many incorrect guesses, which is equal to eight, uh, the the game is going to end. Otherwise. It's not going to count it, and it's going to keep going. So if we run through the program now, 
So we've got our setup here. It's saying welcome to Hangman. Good luck. We have eight incorrect guesses left. So far we've used the following letters. So we haven't we haven't guessed the word yet. So what what's going to be our first one? Well, let's say for example, let's put in H. Okay. So it's saying that I've used H. Uh, so say so H is correct so far. Uh, what if I put in M? Alright, so I, I think it's a fair shot that the word is going to be hangman. So if I put in, uh, let's say if I put in the letter Z, uh, that's, in, that's incorrect, alright, so that, that counts as one that's, that's incorrect. So if I put in A, alright, that's correct. Uh, if I put in the, the letter N, yeah, I think it's a fair call that the word is going to be hangman. So if I put in the letter G, yep. So I've got the word. So I've got the, I've guessed the correct word, which is which is hangman. So this is a a code breakdown of implementing a hangman game in C plus plus. Have a look at the code at the code example that I've given you guys today and play around with it. But if this code example has has helped you, please smash on that on the, on the like button down below. Uh, to help with the YouTube algorithm, and I hope you guys get a lot of a, a lot of value out out of this video that I've shown you guys today.